Starting with the 2019 season, Miami Dolphins general manager Chris Greer became the top decision-maker for the team in terms of roster construction. While head coaches Brian Flores and now Mike McDaniel has obviously had input, this was the first time Chris Greer would be running the show. Looking back at the top signings for each season, 2019 to 2022, with the gift of hindsight could be a great exercise for the team to do, self-scouting if you will. With that in mind, I think it would be worthwhile for us to do that. Two, especially with free agency just around the corner. So, let's dive into the top free agent pickup of each season with some insights into how that signing worked out. 2019, Ryan Fitzpatrick, quarterback, the first year of the Chris Greer and Brian Flores era was also the first year of a bona fide rebuild of the Miami Dolphins. Resolving salary cap issues, cutting players with bloated contracts, getting younger, and acquiring draft capital were very clearly the top priorities for the team. As such, the team did very little in free agency that would impact their ability to accomplish those things, they did, however, bring in a veteran journeyman quarterback to help lead the team through the tough times in Ryan Fitzpatrick. Ryan Fitzpatrick quickly became a fan favorite for his charismatic attitude, gunslinger mentality, and of course, plays like this one. However, Fitzpatrick would also come with his fair share of controversy, though really through no fault of his own. On multiple occasions, head coach Brian Flores benched starting, and rookie, quarterback Tua Tagovailoa in favor of the seasoned veteran when the game was on the line during the 2020 season. All of this, of course, occurred after Fitzpatrick was surprisingly benched in favor of Tua going into the bye week that 2020 season. During his time with Miami, Fitzpatrick would start a total of 20 games, playing in 24, with a 9-11 record, 33 touchdowns, 21 interceptions, and 5,620 yards passing. Oh, and he took part in at least a handful of funny moments, 2020. Byron Jones, cornerback, while some could easily argue that Byron Jones wasn't the biggest signing of the 2020 offseason in the end, as Emmanuel Ogba signed that same offseason, Jones was easily the biggest name free agent, and highest priced at 5 years, $82. 5 million th Signed to start opposite of Pro Bowl corner Xavier Howard, Jones had spent the previous five seasons with the Dallas Cowboys. During those five seasons, he spent three playing corner and two as a free safety, since joining the Miami Dolphins, Jones has played in 30 out of a possible 51 games, one playoff, with two interceptions, one forced fumble, and 95 total tackles. During the 2020 season, Byron allowed a quarterback rating of 108.0 when being targeted with 2021 with a slightly better 100. 6. Byron Jones would go on to miss the entire 2022 season with an Achilles injury, 2021. Will Fuller v. Wide Receiver in an attempt to replicate the type of wide receiver room Tua Tagovailoa had at Alabama, the Miami Dolphins targeted and signed speedy wideout Will Fuller v, formerly of the Houston Texans, to a one-year deal. Going into his sophomore season, Tua was set to have a very similar, and incredibly fast and talented, wideout group to that whom he played with in college, however. Fuller's tenure in Miami would be marred by absence. The season opened Will Fuller finishing up his six-game suspension from the previous season, missing Week 1. Week 2 included Fuller being inactive after he left the team for personal reasons. Fuller would make his debut in Week 3, catching three of his six targets for 20 yards against the Raiders. In Week 4, after making his lone reception of the day for six yards, Fuller would hurt his hand on a low pass from backup quarterback Jacoby Brissett. Fuller would never suit up for the team again. In hindsight. I absolutely understand why the team opted to sign Fuller and it was brilliant for Chris Greer to sign him to only a one-year prove-it deal. However, it definitely didn't work out like anyone would have thought. 2022, Taron Armstead, left tackle, it could be recency bias, but out of all of the top free agent pickups under Chris Greer this one is easily my personal favorite. Taron Armstead, arguably the biggest name in free agency 2022, chose to bring his talents to South Beach and did exactly that. While Armstead was already known for being a top-tier left tackle, his contract reflected that of an older veteran who had a propensity to not only play at a high level but to likely miss a few games along the way. What looked like a massive contract initially, at 5 years $87.50 mil ion, that contact will never pay him higher than top 3 left tackle money, in terms of total cash. 2022, 11th in total cash. 2023, third in total cash, 2024, 
ninth in total cash, 2025, sixth in total cash, 2026, third in total cash, out of three contracts that extend this far. For that, the team signed a player that you can consistently count on to play at the top of his position, even if not for a full season. With an incredibly team-friendly contract, oh, and he made his fourth Pro Bowl during his first season with the Miami Dolphins, finishing with a PFF rating of 77.5, all while playing through. An injury that doctors recommended he have surgery on in week one. So, what will Chris Greer do next?